how these things evolve. You see the most amazing evolutionary adaptations. My name is Reagan Dunn. I'm a graduate student at the University of Washington in the Department of Biology, and I study paleobotany. Paleobotany is the study of the evolution of plants, and that is done typically through the examination of fossil plant remains. Some of the biggest questions that we seek to understand is how vegetation is affected by climate and climate change. This can be useful for understanding climate change and climate modeling and how our modern ecosystem evolved to be what it is today. Currently, we are looking at plant and animal fossils from Patagonia, Argentina, uh, that are about 40 million years old. And this is a time of major climate change and some extinction events. So we really wanna understand how vegetation was affected by these changes and how that affected the evolution of the animals and the plants during that time. To help us understand the past, we look for comparisons from modern environments because in many cases, the present is the key to the past. Costa Rica is, the, is a perfect place for this type of study because it has a diversity of habitats in very close area. So we can sample everything from tropical rainforest to dry tropical forest to swamps and grasslands. To do our research, we look at the world's smallest plant fossils, known as phytoliths. Phytoliths are glass-like particles that are microscopic and they form in plant tissues. So when a plant dies and plant material falls to the forest floor, like leaves and wood and bark and seeds and fruit, that material decomposes and the phytoliths become incorporated into the modern soils. For every sample that we collect, we also want to record the vegetation that is in the area. So we do that by using a hemispherical photograph, a fisheye lens that records a photograph of a 180 degree angle across the forest. Then we can apply our modern record to the fossil record in South America so we can understand more what happened so many million years ago. It's a ton of work and we won't know what the soils will have to say for many months. We don't know if this is actually going to work. We're collecting good data and it's our studies based on sound principles. In the end, even if we don't get the results that we expect, just knowing that our hard work in collecting over 200 soil samples from Costa Rica improves our understanding of the modern world, then it'll all be worth it. <laughs>